Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Paul, and I'm just trying to go over things that I am curious about and things I've looked into, I'd like to share. So with today's video, I wanted to put forth a theory that I have, and this may or may not already be out there. I don't believe that it is, um, which is why I wanted to uh, talk about it. But uh, so one of the things that I like to look at on my own is um, in the health field, I like to look at um, gut health a lot. And in the psychological field, uh, I like to look at trauma and uh, its results. And looking at the two has been very interesting for me uh, since I feel, or since in my own experience, I have connected the two. And so I wanted to put forth a thought that I have, uh, a theory, if you will, and it's this. So uh, over 2000 years ago, Hippocrates said uh, that all disease begins in the gut. And um, we are now beginning to find more and more truth uh, behind that. Uh, that leaky gut is the cause of a lot of different uh, diseases and inflammation within the body. So where I want to go with this is this. When we look at trauma and uh, the effects of what it has on people, we know that when people are exposed to a traumatic event and they haven't resolved it, right? They, ha they have unresolved trauma. Um, the stories that they keep playing uh, in their head or the triggers that they keep experiencing in their daily life that remind them of the trauma, uh, it puts it puts them back into the fight or flight mode. And one of the things that we know about the fight or flight mode is that uh, when we go into that, we are not in the rest and digest. Uh, in, in the technical sense, I believe this is uh, being in the, uh, like when you have your sympathetic nervous system or your parasympathetic nervous system, uh, whichever one is more dominant at the time. And um, in the rest and digest with the parasympathetic uh, state, we are relaxed, we are digesting food well, um, we're, we're kind of just chilling. But in the sympathetic state, this is when we are uh, hyper aroused, if you will, and this is where the fight or flight state comes from. Um, and so when we have a trauma that we are exposed to and it is unresolved, one of the things that people don't realize is that they can actually stay in that sympathetic state more often uh, than is ideal. Actually, it can get into unhealthy amounts, uh, especially depending on how severe uh, the trauma was. And so one of my thoughts is this, if we stay in the uh, sympathetic state, um, the, trauma, the traumatized state, I was thinking about this in relation to what it does to the gut and what it does to breaking down food, because we know not as much of the body's energy and focus goes onto that uh, when we are in that aroused state. And so when, and this is just me looking into the gut health, when we aren't digesting food as well, well, that's when we can have the bad bacteria come in and if we have enough bad bacteria. And by the way, I think, which I need to do more research on this, but I think I heard someone saying uh, too that this, well, I'll leave that part out because I haven't uh, dove as deep, uh, yeah, dove as deep into that into that part, but thinking about the undigested state, right? And where that could potentially leave us for leaky gut and um, just these other factors with the inflammation and the other diseases that come from leaky gut, I seriously think that prior to the all disease beginning in the gut, I'm wondering if for a lot of the diseases that we experience later in life, well, let me actually put it like this. So when we have a disease or when we have a uh, hurting joint or whatever that can be caused due to inflammation or whatever it is, a lot of times we'll treat that exact thing, okay? But let's say we have leaky gut. Somewhere else in the body, it's just gonna go and cause the problem. It's gonna go and cause the sickness, okay? So if we keep treating the symptoms out here, we'll never treat the cause and the cause is the leaky gut. So that's like one of the answers, right? Okay. Like let's let's heal this gut. Let's let's heal the digest, digestive tract and um, go from there. But then the thought that I was thinking about with that is okay. So we have the symptoms out here, we have the cause here. What if there's one more prior to that? What if it's the trauma that we've experienced, which is a story, and that even if we try and heal the gut, which we can do a lot of work towards healing that, but if we don't even go back one step further and address the trauma. And so this is one of the areas that I'm going to be looking into a lot over the coming years um, because I feel like the two are connected, especially now that we're finding more out that a lot of the diseases 
uh, do begin in the gut and are related to gut health and gut function, uh, it almost for me gives me more of a like go ahead to keep looking into this in 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 logically to me it makes sense i may or may not have articulated that well in that idea well again this channel and and this stuff i know a lot of it is unpolished um but that's okay i'm kind of just using this to as a beginning uh to create content uh regardless and just put my thoughts out there so if you deal with uh or if you have dealt with any type of gut problems or uh, any trauma or you've dealt with both uh, let me know what you think of this or frankly even if you haven't dealt with either one um if you just know anything about these two fields let me know what you think of this down in the comment section below and with that being said i will see you guys in the next one